Hey YouTube, I figured I'd make a video about this bike since I made a short about it and a bunch of people liked it. So, uh, it's not a Honda Cub or a Passport. And it's not a, not a Honda at all. It's a Fly Scout is what it's called. And it, what it is, it's a, a pretty um, low quality version of a Honda Cub. It's 110 cc's. It's carbureted. And it goes about, I'd say about 50 miles an hour. You can see on here... That is in miles per hour, and I have, like, verified that with GPS, as well as the odometer doesn't seem to be in miles. It seems to be in kilometers. And it's been stuck at 15.55 because the speedometer cable broke, and so I just took that off. Um, the headlight my buddy Wes and I replaced with this Amazon thing. It was, like, $7, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty bright. Billy, I got at the dollar store for $1.25, and the milk crate, I found that on the side of the road. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little bike. Uh, sun kind of tore up the seat here. It's very, very brittle. Fuel. <laughs> this is a real thing. So, that only holds half a gallon. And <laughs> if you've ridden a motorcycle, and you, you know, I mean, like, you can go pretty far on a half a gallon of gas, but that's only a half a gallon of gas. Like, most motorcycles reserves are larger than this capacity full on this gas tank so you gotta stop all the time for fuel like every 50 or so miles uh i bought this thing like three or four years ago and it's been a lot of fun i used to bomb around midtown sacramento on it and uh just this last december i went to walmart and <laughs> bought a whole bunch of stuff and when i came out the bike was gone, and I was super ticked off. So I, you know, I was, I was upset. And I felt really violated, and I went ahead and went on social media, and I, I posted somebody keep an eye out for my bike. And sure enough, it got shared and shared and shared, and somebody saw it. And I just rode over on my other bike and and, and got it. And I, you know, I pulled it away, and I called someone with a truck and. It, I was just amazed that I got it back, and the ignition was missing, so I, I took the ignition from oops, Parts Bike, and um, yeah, uh, oh yeah, we would not start, it just wouldn't start, I kicked it and kicked it and kicked it, and I was just like sweating in the hot California sun, pulled the carburetor off, and ah, actually, the carburetor's right here, yeah, I'm out here, I'm, my camper, that <laughs> is the carburetor, so uh, I ended up losing the other jet in the grass over there anyway somewhere so you know good on me i couldn't i couldn't uh get it unclogged anyway with any of the materials i had laying around so i shelled out 14 dollars and uh this thing fired right up unfortunately though i got a, a carburetor that's one millimeter too small and so I, at like 50 i'll be like smashing and then uh it, it'll just start to bog out but you know i'm wondering if some uh jets will fix that Oh, almost. There you go. Didn't even shake it. Oh, yeah, I bet I should, though. But, yeah, it's a uh, good runner, and it's not very loud, even though I'm going to go you. Come on, girl. I don't want to choke you. There you go. Yeah. There's that LED. That's the low beam. And then... Uh, oop. There we go. High beam. It is a lot better than the stock headlight. Again, like seven bucks online. I don't have a link to it. Let's see what like that. I don't like that. Oh, that's why. Ta-da. Give me a 10 mil on there. And that right there, that right there is like a very constant thing on this bike going to be tightening things like one time I rode I don't know where that wrench is the equivalent of this bike it's a parts bike I rode it to San Andreas it was like hours from here and I lost both of the exhaust nuts and that was a thing and then it started spewing oil everywhere uh, fortunately this engine is a lot more watertight than the in the oil type than the other engine um, yeah, so, uh, oh, by the way, if you have any of these little bikes, Honda or otherwise, always bring a U-lock. U-lock it to the frame, 
choose something. Don't ever assume that locking your handlebars is going to do the trick because she walked right away with this and I was very, very, very dismayed last Christmas season. So, not much else to say there about this bike uh, aside from the fact that, yeah, you can see I still need to re-register it so I can get a new license plate since the thief threw mine off a cliff. I'm just going to modify that to make it look like someone took a big chomp out of there. Uh, I got a flat the other day and I could not find my tools, my, my tire spoons, so I just pounded out some, some uh, steel bar and uh, rounded off the ends on the, the grinding wheel and that worked for me. I got, I got this tire on there without pinching the tube, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, oh yeah, I've lost like four spokes off that wheel and I've, I've replaced a couple of them with actual Honda spokes. Being that the hub is larger than the Honda, I've had to shorten the <laughs> spoke a little bit, but it still it was able to you know grab a little bite into the the nut on the top there. So pretty crazy, um, but it does the trick, and it's not nearly as good as a Honda. Don't let anybody tell you that this Chinese stuff is as good as a Honda, but it is a functioning motorbike, and that I appreciate. So. With that being said, thanks for watching my video, and if you like this, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more. I do have a helmet cam. If you look back on my videos, I do have some, uh, I have some helmet cam videos. I can make more. I can make new ones. I can change it up. I can do whatever I want. This is my world. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.